Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for another bout in the welterweight division. Please welcome to the cage side, Stefan Ustia. And another big international matchup here in the MMAC. The pro show continues here in Birmingham tonight. The main card well underway. And it is the top of the bill here at the welterweight level. Stefan Avistia all the way here from Norway making his professional debut. And if there's anything we got to say about the Norwegian guys tonight, they are tough, they are technical, they are well-rounded, Paul. They are well-rounded fighters and these guys are coming to fight. They are definitely coming to make a big, big impact on MMAC and what a camp. One of the things that sticks out is the fact that they are not only well prepared, but they have a game plan. We saw that in the last one. I think we're going to see it here again tonight. Those guys have always got a takedown on tap. More importantly, they listen to their corner, and that is key. Very, very, very good camps. All the fighters seem to come out well-rounded, very, very composed. Stand-up, ground game, jujitsu. they've got it all. And Buddy Johnson brings out number two. And his opponent, Lukasz Sviridovic. It is Poland taking on Norway here tonight as Lukasz Sviridovic arrives. Now the fighter's entrance. So much hype around this guy's impact on the UK scene. Out of Poland by way of Poland. Fighting out of Birmingham here tonight. Four fights in his professional record. From UTC Birmingham, a very technical guy in all departments. Very explosive fighter, aggressive. This guy's got it all. Always trying to finish his opponent. And that's what makes him so exciting, Paul. He's not just a fighter coming here to get the W. He's coming here to make an impression. He's a very, very, very technical grappler. He's got some good stand-up skills. I think we could see another explosive fight here tonight. If history repeats itself, I completely agree. And you look at the ears on this guy. That's the guy who spent hours, days, years on the mat. He can grind. He can finish you at like lightning. And I think it's going to match up beautifully against the Norwegian here tonight. There's some great, great guys here tonight. And these two look very composed, in shape. They look good to go, and look at him bouncing around that cage. He can't wait for the action to start. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for three five-minute rounds in the professional welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet one inches tall, making his professional debut from Skien, Telemark, Norway. He is Stefan Rustia. And his opponent in the red corner, standing five feet, nine and one half inches tall, with two wins and two defeats in his professional career, from Birmingham City, Lukasz Sviridovic. When the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Simon Small. So here we go, folks, buckle up. This one will not go the distance. Four fights, the experience on the side of Sviridovic. Eustia making his return to the UK here tonight, but a perfect record on his side. Both men very similar in weight. We are ready for round one of what is going to be a barn burner of a fight. And these guys are coming out quick. Look, overhand right. I mean, these guys are going to bang. Overhand right on display from Shredovic. Lead push kick there. The spin and a miss there from the Norwegian. Norwegian looks good to go. Nice low kick there from Shredovic, and the right hand lands. Oh, Ustia ran corrupt. into that. Ustia has got to stop coming forward in a straight line. Because right now, Shredovic is picking him apart, and then the level change from Shredovic, interesting. Interesting indeed, and a push up against the cage. He's gonna look to drop and change level. He's working ahead, changing level, trying to get down to get him down. And I think that was the fact that Shvirovich tagged him a couple of times very cleanly. Used to have tasted that, didn't want no more. Yeah, he didn't want any of that. 
And look at those devastating knees right into the inside of the fire there. Certainly something that is probably not fight ending, but more importantful, more importantly, I should say, excuse me, they impact the long-term game in the fight, and that's key. That is key, because those knees, devastating in the inside, as soon as you come out into the clinch, that's gonna have a big impact on the movement and the striking skills. So, a little bit of a tie up here as both fighters jockey for position. Shvirtovich doing the right thing right now and controlling with a very deep underhook on the left. He may use it to try to spin and reverse this. That's, that's what the game plan should be, but those knees keep firing in all the time. Oh. And he looks for it, but once again controlled and slowed down, I think, very nicely by Ustia. Ustia broke his momentum there. Shvirtovich with some early success. This is the right tactic from Team Norway. It's the right tactic indeed. They're breaking it down. They're being precise. They're taking their time, and they are looking for the right moment. They're not rushing anything. They're taking their time and delivering every shot, every precise movement. And those things tally up over time. That's the key thing. you got to think about addition long term. Nice knee there, though, from Shvirtovich. You can see them trying to destabilize each other and try to get each other out of position. And one and you catastrophic can, mistake could be the beginning of the end. And you can see Shvidovic there, he's starting to breathe heavy, and that's the result of being pushed against that cage, and again, taking those big knees, big, big knees. That's gonna take punishment. Shvidovic also uh, breathing just a little bit heavy. He's, he, he's breathing heavy there. Coming out of the clinch now, he's, he's gonna pay for that, but he's got some good, good exchanges coming up. A nod of and a lovely catch and takedown. Wow, textbook Muay Thai, catch the kick, walk him forward with one step, but up oh. go the legs, this is submission territory, this Whoa, is the hyper extension. what a finish! Whoa, just like that. Unbelievable. And it was like clockwork as Ustia went in there, grabbed a hold of that arm, and took it nearly all the way back across the English Channel back to Europe. Man. What a statement. And Shvirtovic certainly showing moments of brilliance, but it's Yusio who preserves the perfect record and goes 2-0 tonight in Birmingham. And that's the beauty of our sport. Anything can happen in the blink of an eye. Yusio with the win. All smiles, tons of cheer. And that, to me, shows off why submission fighting is one of the most exciting aspects of MMA. Up went the legs, spinning into that arm lock attack. And it was tap or snap. Fabulous finish. Fabulous. That was delicious. I just love taking a look at that one in slow-mo. I could stand and stare all night long, but Buddy Johnson's got an announcement, folks. It's the W for Eustia. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout ended in 2 minutes 54 seconds of the first round. To your winner by submission, Stefan Eustia. <laughs> Yeah.